hello guys so welcome to another quick tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to install the versa lab banking script so this is the versa lab banking script and i'm going to teach you how to install it in few minutes now before you start if you want this script you just click on the link in the description and you can get this banking script and you can join me for the tutorial now also stating i will not be using your regular cpanel i'm going to be using localhost but i'm going to explain everything i'm going to be doing on this tutorial so I'm going to explain the basic part, what you need to know, and as I go ahead, I'm going to explain everything to you. So before you begin your installation, you need to have a domain name. So now, I'm currently using localhost, but if you are going to be doing this on your server, if you are going to be doing this on the internet, you need to have a domain name. So a domain name is your URL or your website name on the internet. So you need to have one in order for your website to be accessible on the internet. Now with what I'm doing, someone cannot access my website on the internet because my website is offline. But if you get a domain name, it is very easier. So the easiest place you can get a domain name is Namecheap. So you can click on the link in the description and use my affiliate marketing, my affiliate link and then support me while I create this video. So now once you click on the link, you'll be taken to this page where you have to enter your domain name and then once you enter your domain name, so let's assume that we are doing something like visitorbanking.com Now once you search for the domain name, we're going to click on search and it's going to try to check if this domain name is available So let's see So as you can see, this is available at $9.38 So $9.38, sorry So for one year, so you can actually add this to cart Once you click on add to cart it will be added to cart now the next thing is you want to go to hosting click on this hosting now you click on shared hosting because you are building one website i encourage people to use shared hosting because it is very easy and it can actually patch uh, it's very cheap sorry and it can actually contain your website so you have to click on get started on the first plan as you can see it's for one point uh, one dollar 48 cents per month if you are doing it for one year so for one year now you are paying 17.76 so, but if you use the link in the description, you're going to be supporting me and then I'm going to put a coupon code also on the link so that it will be way cheaper. Now, you're going to click on get started. Now, once you click on get started, you're going to use the domain name already on your card. So, as you can see, visitor block. And then you can click on add to card and then you make your payment. So, that's it, guys. You have actually purchased your domain and your hosting. Then you have to log into your cPanel. From your cPanel area, which you... This is... From your cPanel area, sorry guys, you have to come here. Now, after uploading the file, which is your the file you're going to get in the description, you're going to be brought to this page. So right here, you're going to click on install your website. Um, you're going to go to your website name slash install. You're going to be welcome with this page. Now, once you're done, once you're here, you click on I agree next step. Now, if you meet any error, the only thing you have to do is to go to your PHP version. So I already updated my PHP version to sorry my PHP version to um that of 8.1 so visa bank actually work with 8.1 version 8.1 so once you're done with that you're going to click on i agree next step now it's going to check if your requirements are okay since i already have the requirement now if you view the requirement you can see your version must be 8.1 as you can see bcs this, this uh, most of this extension are actually automatically turned on on your um c panel but as sometimes this gd PHP extension is not turned on, so all you just have to do is to click it on your um, um, on your cPanel and it's done. So now, since everything is active and okay, then you click on next. So now, this is where you have to enter your website URL. As you can see, this is my website URL because I'm doing it on the local host, so this is my website URL. Now, for a database, you have to go to database, which is your um, user database where you can create your database for users. Uh, so for that I already have so if I click on home now once I click on home and I click on user account as you can see I already have a user account so I have different account but I'm going to create a new one for this tutorial sake so I'm going to click on add new now once I click on add new for your own case it might not be like this but I'm using localhost so I'm just going to teach you the basic process
Now I'm done creating everything as you can see. I'm done creating both the database name and the database password. So for yours, it might not be like this. Your C panel will be different. So you just have to create the same thing. And I'm going to go back, paste my data name, database password. Sorry. So now database host is always local host. Database password. I just copied it. So this is it. Now for admin username, admin username. I'm just going to enter admin. Admin password, I'm just going to enter admin. Email, so let me just select any random email because I'm going to be deleting this later on. So now I click on install. So this will take some time to actually install. So you're just going to be patient a bit until it's installed. So now we have our VESA um, bank actually installed successfully. So it asks to please delete the install folder from your server and go to website and activate it. So let's go to the website and then we are good. Or you can, or you can still do, you can just click on it from this part and you are good. So still the same thing, still the same thing. So depend on your choice. As you can see, here is the VESA bank digital banking system script as you can see this is it this is it guys this is it so everything here you are going to edit them one after the other but this is the script so let's go to the about us page So every page is working perfectly. So, so now this is it. This is the front end. So what we can do now is to, we can create an account. So let's just sign on. Okay, sign up. Let me use this email. Let me use anything. Okay, this I'm gonna use this password. Let me say um hosting one two four hosting. So now you click on register. So I'm creating an account so you can see this is working perfectly. So I'm going to remove this, never. So you need to complete your information to access your dashboard. So let's, let me do A, B, B. So choose file, let me choose any file for my computer. So what's my recent file? So let me choose this. So open. So address to town. States a do and zip code three zero zero two eight two. So I'm going to click on submit no times. So now, as you can see, we have our account created. So here is my account number. Now, because I'm using the Visa Bank, that's why I'm having VB. Now, for your own bank account, just the same way you have like um, your OP account, you have um, you have your mobile number. Um, some of these other online stuff you have um, your bank digits added to it so you can actually add yours to this or you can edit it now available balance you have that of dollar you can actually change that to naira if you choose to so this is it this is it this is your home page now this, sorry, this is your bank um, dashboard so this is your deposit so as you can see there's no history here you can actually deposit now but we have not set the account details on the uh, the payment details see there's no payment gateway right now because we have not set it on the admin area 
So as we are done with this part, I'm going to log into the admin and show you the other part. So as you can see, we can withdraw money here. FRDs, plan or whatever. You know some of these banks actually have plans. You want to take a loan, you can take it from this part. So everything is very easy. So you can do more here. Yeah? Make settings, change your details and stuff like that. So guys, that is it for the bank, the Vasa Bank dashboard. So you can also do... Sorry, I never I didn't make mention of some things. Um, as you can see, you can do two FA security. You can change your password. You can check your transaction. You can even enable. You can actually message the um, your customer from here. Or your customer can actually message you from here. So guys, that is it for the Visa Bank. Now I'm going to log into the admin area so we can actually see what the admin is like. So now I'm going to click on log out. Now on your on your URL just typing admin to it I hope I get it correctly so as you can see this is our admin part so I think I used admin admin has the password and the so click on login I hope this is the password I used I think admin admin if I'm correct okay this is it guys as you can see we have one total user yes this these are the details of the bank these are dashboard as you can see this is our dashboard so on the left side here you have the staffs if you have other um, admin on the bank this is where you can actually add them as admin so here you have all the users you can manage user active user ban you can ban the user you can verify a user from this area so this was the account we created you can actually edit this account from this part as you can see we can do the details edit account we can top us phone as you can see we can add balance we can remove balance we can log in we can actually um, ban user and do a lot guys so we can do a lot from this area so also you have your deposit here if a client actually deposit money to any of your payment gateway you're going to have them here so then you have your drive the request to drive you're going to see them here you have your money transfer if they transfer money from one account to another it's gonna you're gonna see them here so you can see other banks you can add some to this part um, like um bank to bank transaction let's say you can add if you are in nigeria you can use something like a gt bank from this part so you have wire transfer you can actually create branch you can create plan those were those things like the fru the plan loans for clients you can tell your customers to actually take loan and then this is how much they will pay so for the payment gateway guys this is a payment gateway so there are two major payment gateway you have the automatic you have the manual so for the automatic you have advanced cash or triathlon you can make use of any of this one of your choice there's flutter wave and you can even add there's peonia paper paystack you can add to it or you can remove from this and if you want manual uh, deposit like direct bitcoin payment and stuff like that you can add them from this area so you can actually do a lot guys give you a lot so on your setting for seo setting you have the general setting first of all and there's also seo setting now you can change the name of your bank to let's say vb bank so sorry about the noise you can change the name to vb bank you could check your time zone you could change this this was where i told you about the currency you could change the currency symbol you could change a lot of them so if you click on submit after changing them it will automatically be updated so that is that as you can see on this part is actually be changed so this is an image which you're going to edit and change from the other part so now let's go so you have your chrome job that's for this chrome job now i'm going to explain this if you want um your um client like let's assume loans um loans to actually be counting like you want money to be adding to it that is where you can actually create the cron job you can schedule cron and so that their account will be updated regularly just like an automatic um pay payment with method something like that so that your account will actually be uploaded um the account will actually be um will i say counting the money will be adding up all by itself so you can set it up for this cron job now logo and fabric as i said this is a logo so you can change them from this part you can change your logo here yeah. you have the system configuration so you can edit any of this here you can turn off your kyc verification you can turn off any of the verification here this is where you turn it off 
so you also have your kyc setting you have your extension you have your language if you are not english you can change here if you want it to be showing up on google you have your seo manager you have a notification um, setting you also have your template so if you don't like this main design of the template you can actually add some to this okay so this is only one we have so i guess there's nothing much you can do about the template design unless you can code yours into it so you can add your css as i said you can tell, send your website to maintenance mode so that um for example you are having website issue you are having um what was it called what was this thing called sorry try to remember um not secure server not secure you can just move your website to maintenance mode we are if i enable this right now the website will go on maintenance mode so no one can actually access it so let's see so now it has actually gone to maintenance mode now if someone go to the home page and um, let's assume go to the home page like this it will be taken to maintenance mode this site is under maintenance just a few things so that's it guys that is it for the versa bank you that's everything you need to know so the script work perfectly so if you want to get the script the link is in the description and um if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please hit the subscribe button and i will see you on my next video so thanks for watching this tutorial guys so another script is going to pop up which i'm going to teach you how to install that also so guys thanks for watching this tutorial see you there